Well, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel, with 47 Website Designs. And today, we're going to use Layer Mask in Photoshop. Um, I need to get a regular scheduled program, maybe one, two videos per week, because right now I've been going every single day. I know you guys have been enjoying it, but I guess, you know, you start off hard and, matter of fact, finish harder. You're gonna start getting two videos per day. I'm just kidding. But I'm gonna get to a schedule here soon, and uh, you'll notice my schedule when it actually happens. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But we gotta give it up to the Golden State Warriors for winning the national championship. Three championships out of four years, they beat the bums, LeBron, bum, James, and um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I, I don't like LeBron. But anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a layer mask, um, and I'm going to cut Seth Curry out. So I'm going to give you a couple tips within this one tutorial, okay? So what we're going to do first, we're going to go up here to select, and we're going to go up here to subject, okay, which is new in Photoshop. It's been in there eh, not that long, but it's fairly new. Um, and it's going to select the subject and you see right there it did a pretty good job the job that is done is, is great but you see right there under his arm is missing a little bit and under his leg right there is missing a little bit i can correct that now but for the sake of the tutorial i want to go ahead and show you what i want to do here so i'm going to come right over here in my layers panel and i have i'm gonna let it highlight first add layer mask you can click that add layer mask and it automatically kind of chops it out there and i'm working on my layer mask there okay so i'm just going to zoom in to the parts that i already noticed that was missing which is right there and always keep in mind black hide and white reveals okay i'm going to select my brush um, my, my brush is kind of a soft brush i'm going to harden that up to a hard brush and it doesn't matter what size brush or how, how much hardness you actually have on your brush there but I'm gonna bring my brush down by hitting my bracket keys okay black hides and white reveals and I want to hide this background because I'm working on the layer max there okay so as I kind of trace around that area right there you see it kind of gets rid of what I don't want okay and if I want to bring it back I can always use the white brush by just hitting X on my little color chips down there and bringing it back. So let me zoom in just a little bit more, I'm getting real deep into the pixels here and uh, I can just get one pixel at a time if I really wanted to. Um, actually, I was trying to bump my brush size up there on accident, uh, bring the brush size down and you can see that pixel right there halfway left and let me go get this one right here under his arm and you can see where I'm painting and you almost got to hit a pixel like two or three times when you get to this level to get rid of it so that's right there been cut out pretty good right there and uh, I want to get underneath his leg so I'm going to zoom back in and I'm going to get down to this part uh, I want to bump my brush size up a little bit and underneath his leg there I'm going to erase that piece of the background back there that I don't want and I'm just going to kind of get a rough selection. I'm not going to get too in depth there. But as you can see there, it's pretty clean, pretty nice. Now what I can do to kind of check my work to make sure I got everything, I can add a drop shadow to it right there, not a drop shadow. I can actually stroke it right here and I can put a stroke on there and it doesn't matter what color stroke you have or what size your stroke is, you can actually just add a stroke because if you have something hanging out here okay and I'm gonna go add something real fast okay so right here on this layer mask once again black high and white reveals so I'm gonna just hit X and I'm gonna bump my brush size up just a little bit so you can see this but if you have something hanging out there you're gonna be able to see it with the stroke and sometimes you'll see little pieces hanging out there that you don't necessarily want you can see under his arm there you can see where some stuff is kind of missing there so I'm going to brush bring my brush size down I'm going to hit X to get rid of what I don't want and see I got a little triangle I got that part there and these pieces right here I can kind of make a bigger brush and I can get rid of all that all at one time that's what the stroke does when you're done with the stroke you can throw the stroke away if you don't need it. You actually have to grab the word stroke there. The stroke is gone, and what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just add another layer 
I'm gonna select the color. I'm gonna put a cool little color on the back of here. I'm gonna go with the green, the light green, hit okay. Bring this layer down underneath there. Then we have Steph Curry on a green screen, um, doing whatever we want with him now in regards to saying that they are the national champions, whatever, whatever. So I can write whatever I want. I got Steph Curry, you know, completely pulled out of that image that I wanted to. So be sure to work in layer mask. Um, I know I move really fast in this tutorial, but you can always go back, watch the video again, and um, thanks for watching, and make sure you visit the website, 47 Website Designs, let me go to the website here, uh, 47 Website Designs, in order to, you know, request me, you can come out right over here to the bottom, the very bottom of the website, and you can call me directly, or you can send me an email, and I'd be happy to help you guys out. Thanks for watching, goodbye now.